In this video, I am going to discuss about weighted gray relation analysis method. It is just an extension of this gray relation analysis where weights are used from the gray relation coefficients. So let us uh, understand why the weights are required. So in various uh, real time engineering problems, uh, it is essential that the importance of various output responses are to be estimated in terms of weights. Some of the researchers has been uh, assigning unequal weights or like, the, like I can say some randomly pick weights. Suppose we are having some 5 output responses, they will take in terms of 0.5 or 0.1 or 0.1, 0.1 like that randomly assigning are some equal weights. If, if it is a 5 responses, uh, so point two will try to give for equal weights for all the output responses. So if such a kind of scenario is following, it will have definitely an impact of the multi-performance characteristics index in a multi-response optimization problems. Because in this multi-response optimization problems, we are trying to club all these multiple responses into a single response. So it is necessary to develop a reasonable criteria for calculation of the weights in order to assign appropriate values to different responses under the optimization. So one such a scenario where we know that uh, there are two tiers of weights, subjective weights and objective weights. There are some methods also like uh, analytical hierarchy process, entropy method, critic method, where different kinds of weights can be estimated by using these procedures. But here, what we are planning is we are trying to estimate the weights by using the gray relation coefficients only. So from the gray relation coefficients, the weights are going to be estimated. And here I am taking uh, a uh, reference uh, article as this one. As I have said that uh, I am taking the reference uh, paper data and then I am going to calculate the weighted gray relation analysis. So let us understand how this is, has been framed. So this uh, milling operation consisting of four input levels, cutting speed, feed rate, depth of cut and width of cut. Since it's a milling operation, we'll have width of cut. And this has been taken at three levels. Okay. So each input parameter is having three levels. So like that we'll have. So depending upon these three levels, a Taguchi orthogonal array has been framed so that a total of 27 experiments has been conducted by the author and then this is the orthogonal array layout for our particular problem. So now what we have to do is based upon this one an experiment has been conducted and they have estimated the material removal rate, surface roughness and cutting energy and these are the values of those material removal rate, surface roughness and cutting energy. Now. I have done multiple videos on uh, this gray relation analysis, how from the raw data we have to convert that one into gray relation coefficients. You can watch those videos and you can able to calculate this gray relation coefficient values by seeing that videos. Procedure is same only. So from this gray relation analysis, how we have to estimate the weights based upon our input parameters. So these things we are going to be discussed in this uh, current video. So. Let me uh, take a simple template like this. Since it's consisting of some average values, I am going to take a simple template like this. So for the MRR, I will have a template like this. Similarly for RA, similarly for cutting energy also. So for MRR. So first case is level 1 for cutting speed. Similarly feed rate level 1. Cutting is depth of cut level 1 like that and so. So here, for example, 1000 is there at 9 times in this orthogonal array. Since it's in L27, 3 levels, so definitely we'll get uh, three time, uh, 9 times 1000. So for estimating this one, what I will do is I have to go to MRR value and uh, select those values. And uh, in the Excel file, I can able to see the count as average as 0 0.5137. So simply I can able to write it down like this here. But this is, this, this becomes a very typical process when there is a randomness in the values. Suppose, for example, if you see depth of cut, 0 0.2 is here, 0 0.2 is here, 0 0.2 is here, 0 0.2 is here. So here, during the selection, it might lead to some minor mistakes. Even though we will get the value, average value correct, but because of that, this, this kind of selection, it may lead to some kind of incorrectness in the data. So to avoid this one, we are having one simple formula called as average if formula. 
So by using this average formula, we can able to estimate the average values of this particular cell. From that one, we can able to calculate the weighted weight weights of those uh, output responses. So what is here? Average if range, comma criteria and average range. So here, what is our range? Our range will become this one. So whatever the range from one to twenty-seven experiments we have conducted, those will be our ranges. And criteria will be this table. This table is our criteria. And average range will be the gray relation coefficient because from the gray relation coefficients we are going to estimate the weights. So let us see how we are going to do it in a simplest manner. Simplest manner. So I will take average if average if. So what is the range? Range is this one, comma. Criteria is this one, comma. And what is the my average uh, range value? This value I have to estimate. So earlier I have highlighted the same value, no? Five one three. The same value have got it here. Similarly, I will do it for level two also. So what I will do is average if this is my range, and uh, comma. This is my criteria. comma and these are my average range values similarly i will do it for level 3 also so one problem here in doing these things is every time we have to select this value we have to select the criteria we have to select the average range okay in excel we are having a beautiful feature called as fixing the cell or fixing the column or fixing the row so with that help i will try to do it for the next cell so that simply by dragging it to the next cell automatically the formulas will be formulated so let us see how i will do it average if so this is my range this is feed range so what i will do is i will press f4 button one time total cells will be range will be locked second time if i try to press this particular row will be locked up to 4 to 30 and column if i drag to the next cell automatically it has to go to the e cell next cell if i drag automatically it has to go to f cell so that is okay comma and the criteria also this one i am selecting so this one i am selecting and i am trying to press f4 here one time and again one more time f4 so now the cell see if we drag to the bottom automatically criteria cell will move from 200 to 250 so that is not a challenging thing but the thing is whenever i drag to the side side then it has to be get changed so what i will do is for now i don't try to keep any formula for this one when i go to drag to the next cell i will simply drag it to the next cell so that automatically the range will be changed comma average range so average range is again this one average range is again this one so average range is from here to here so i will try to press f4 here and close the button enter so if you if you are having any doubt you can able to calculate it by checking the cells see first three cells i will try to select 200 then again uh, from 13th to onwards again 200 next again 200 where it is again here it is 200 So you can see the value as point four one zero five four. The same value you have got it. Okay, we can cross check it. If if our formula is wrong or like that, we can cross check it. So if I simply drag to the next cell and again double click it, so that automatically it has been moved to the next cell. This has been moved to the next cell. This is MRR. It will be fixed. So we are correct. Then I I will try to move it to the next cell and again I will try to edit it and I will check it. So whether it is on to the fourth column and fourth criteria value and the range is fixed or not. Okay. Now if I try to move it to the downside, so if I try to move it to the downside also, this one is going to two fifty and this range is fixed and MRR is also fixed. So definitely I will get a correct value. Simply what I will do is I will just down select all these things and. drag it up so that if you try to edit any time you can able to cross verify whether you have done it in a correct manner or not so from this one i have to identify the maximum value max of this entire row and this is a procedure 
and for max value what i will do is i will just drag it similarly for min also i will minimization also i will try to drag it and do it minimization now i have to do minimization maximization minus minimization maximization minus minimization yes i have got it maximization minus and here i have to estimate the sum this is the sum of this entire input parameter average values i will get the sum so let us wait for some weight because weight cannot estimated now so weight has to estimated by taking the sum of all divided by individual sum divided by total weight so what i will do is i will after calculating the similar kind of procedure for ra and cutting energy then i can able to estimate the sum of total okay then i can able to estimate the weight so for now what i will do is i will try to calculate the remaining ras you can just see the video now here we have to be very careful in selecting the average age now i am selecting this average range for this particular surface roughness so while selecting this one you have to be very carefully select the entire row and lock the entire cell so that close the value then it is simply a drag and drop procedure so automatically you will get the values if you have if you have any doubt you can double click on that one any of the cell and you can check it okay now after estimating the sum of all the things we require total sum so what i will do is uh, i will try to make here t sum t sum that is uh, total sum so total sum is adding what uh, sum of this one this one and this one okay so this is this r to the extra 1.27 so now i will calculate the weight as this value divided by this value total sum i'll get here 0.37 similarly i will do it for re also so this this value divided by sum of this value press f4 so now the weights has been estimated i am taking the weights value uh, as separately here so these are the weights for our problem for mrr this is the weight for ra this is the weight and for cutting energy these are the weight so like this we have to estimate the weighted gradient relation analysis thank you